Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katherine Young and I'm creative. And today I am going to uh, take you thrifting with me. It is the opening day of the holiday uh, season here at our local ARC thrift stores. As you can see, there is a whole line of people already waiting. So what I'm thinking is, I am thinking that these are gonna be a bunch of resellers, so I may not be able to film in there. We'll see how it plays out. Um, but they're offering everybody um, the chance who's like on their mailing list. If you pay an extra $5, you get to come into the store two hours before everybody else. So I figured five bucks, let's do it. It'll be an experience, right? And by looking at all the competition, it's definitely gonna be an experience. So. So in this video, I am doing a collaboration with um, My Blessed Nest and Erin at the Collection Vintage. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a haul of everything vintage that I picked up um, today thrifting. And I'm also gonna show you kind of how I style it in my home. Um, so yeah, wish me luck in there, y'all, because there's some competition. <laughs> okay, here we go. So there's probably 40 people in front of me, so be prepared for a bumpy ride. The shelves were absolutely stocked though. I just, this was really cool. It was really worth um, getting in there early, but oh, there were just people everywhere and trying to film and invo uh, avoid people was crazy. <laughs> that guy with the blow mold, he eyed it from outside and he was one of the first people in line and he ran in to get it. <laughs> uh, so forgive me, you guys, this, this filming is going to be chaos compared to my usual filming of thrift with me is just so many people, but, um, yeah, the shelves were just stocked. It was it was really awesome. I thought this candle was pretty cool. Um, basically, anything I saw that I liked, I just put it in my cart. Um, and I figured I could go through stuff at the end because there were so many people. I mean, people were reaching over me. I was trying to get past people. I mean, just to even film like one shelf was kind of wild. <laughs> But you know what? Everybody was in good spirits and I was having a lot of fun. So um, it, it was really great. Everybody was finding the treasures they wanted. And look, I found some treasures. Cute. <laughs> um, I just couldn't believe like how many things of different kinds they had on shelves. Like every candle you'd ever want for Christmas. We got it. Every candle Snuffer ever made. We got it. <laughs> It was just really cool to see that much variety on opening day. And then I spent way too long looking for the perfect holiday sweater. Um, I put a bunch in my cart. I tried them on later off camera. So spoiler alert, I didn't find the perfect one. But I did load up my cart with a bunch of them, hoping to find that that gem, that diamond in the rough, if you will. But um, <laughs> I didn't find the right one. But... Um, I mean, just every row, uh, serving pieces and teapots and just so many fun things spowed and there was stuff that looked like Fitz and Floyd. Oh, those were so cute. Those ceramic Christmas tree napkin rings. I thought that would be adorable on anyone's table. Really cute. And then there was this whole box of holiday salt and pepper shakers, like Oh my goodness, like look through them all. I grabbed these ones, pretty sure they're leftins. Um, just, I mean, I just loved all the variety that was here this morning. Um, it really was worth uh, the crowds of people and uh, the little bit of chaos just to see all the variety because I've never seen so much stocked Christmas at one time and to get to be in there before the public was really quite fun. Um, I, yeah, I just, I, I loved all the cookie jars. Um, you know, any Christmas theme you had, there was something for you. I thought this little bottle was so cute. I picked it up, put it back on the shelf. And what you don't see on the camera is a woman reached right over me and grabbed it. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, I mean, gosh, even every napkin ring you'd ever need for the holidays. I mean, just so much fun. So much fun. Oh, and these tin pans. If you're good at research, I know some of those can go for big money. And oh, look at these. Put cookies on those and give them as gifts. Really fun. Really fun. And they had so many great mugs. Not necessarily like vintage mugs, but just cool holiday mugs that were super fun. Hello, Mrs. Claus. <laughs> and they were at good prices. I, I really liked it. And I found um, this set of mugs and I got them. Oh my God, y'all. Oh my God. How is this still here? I've been here for 20 minutes. Beautiful candles too. I like those, but oh my God, y'all. It's here and it's still for sale. Oh my God. I can't believe it. It's not cheap, but it is here. And I grabbed that tag. It is mine. And so looking at the trees, I found one vintage ornament. <laughs> I'm taking it. <laughs> Um, looking at the jewelry, uh, there weren't that many pieces I really liked. I really liked this tree. It looked kind of high end to me. I thought it was really beautiful. And I loved this because, well, it looked super tacky and gaudy. So um, also my style. <laughs> I love big, loud, tacky, gaudy things. So yeah, that one also came home with me. <laughs> And then this was just so neat. Look at that 60s graphic, that, that mod style. I loved it so much. I forgot to show this in the haul, y'all, but I, I picked this up, okay? Um, I'm having trouble here trying to open it, but look at the inside. Wow. Oh, the, the graphics on this are just chef's kiss, y'all. Chef's kiss. I loved this box. So, of course, that had to come home with me. And then I loved these, these magazines. I thought they were such a steal. Um, I believe they were $1.99 each. Now, I don't really decorate with religious iconography, but I think those would be so beautiful in a display if you did decorate that way. I think they had one for every year for like 30 years. It's just like you could just see time pass with how the artwork changed year after year. Super beautiful. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. What a crazy trip. Cannot even believe it. Got some amazing items in there. Got an item that people just overlooked. They didn't see that it was for sale um, because it looked like a display. And really lucky with that I mean it was 20 minutes in before I saw it and I got it and I don't think I should have uh, there is one more location that is doing this early morning Christmas thing I think I'm gonna go check it out so we're heading into this location um, I've never been to this location before I think except actually to film a video so you've been here about as much as I have if you've watched my channel for a while so let's go check it out we're, we're still in the early time uh, before it technically opens to most of the public this location was so much less chaotic, um, but the shelves were still pretty packed. Lots of stuff to see and look at. Cute. Ooh, this might be worth picking up. That looks really cool. I thought their display, their main display, was super cute. All that fun plush and all the villages and such. Look how cute they made that. Very, very cute. All the trees you would ever want. Love it. Very cute little hobbyist ceramic tree. It is really funny. This is night and day compared to the other location. <laughs> uh, the employees even asked me how the other location was because they had heard that there were over 50 people in line before the store opened. I love that feather tree. That's cool. And that's plastic. It's not as cool as it looks. And, you know, I confirmed. I confirmed there was a long line. <laughs> Good price on those bottle brush trees, I thought. 
Oh, and I like her. So she is a hobbyist piece, but she is done really well. Look how look how nicely they did on her. Very pretty. I like her a lot. Very pretty. Um, yeah, she's just that's a little high for me, so I did not pick her up. I mean, I just I love this. Like every holiday candle and candle holder you'd ever want. We have it. I just, I think that's just so great. <laughs> um, it, it's just really cool seeing this much merchandise on the shelves. I mean, any theme you have, you're going to find something for it. You you will find it here. Don't you worry. <laughs> and even a little bit of vintage, you know. This little guy right here is, he's a little bit older. Not that old, maybe 80s. These little ones here too, they they are made in Japan. Oh, and there's that little cracked ice thing right there too. I missed that in the moment. I mean, just look. I, I hope you can kind of see how much Christmas is out. There is just really so much darn Christmas out. So much. Oh, I like these little guys. Um, but they are by Home Co. And they are missing their third. They come in sets of threes. So um, I those are great priced, but I passed on those. This is really cute. I liked that a lot. That's a little hobbyist piece. Super cute. Alyssa did a great job. I really like him. <laughs> oh, and I'm just such a sucker for these three mice. I love these home co mice. Oh, they are so dang cute. They are just my favorite. Love them so much. Oh, total score. That is a Santa bank. And he is the paper mache kind. So I collect paper mache banks and I collect Santa banks. That's a twofer, two collections for one. There's his Japan sticker. Awesome find for me. Awesome. They also had a really great mug section here. They had some super cute stuff. I really liked this one. I thought that was really fun. <laughs> they had a ton of wrapping paper, a bunch of these different packets. I went through all of it. I didn't really find anything that I was super excited about. They had some cute stuff. I would say some of it's vintage, but not as vintage as I'm looking for in these different packets but yeah anything you need to wrap a gift you can find it here <laughs> wow and look it's a latch hook so I've been pondering whether I should try this but I hate tedious and repetitive crafts and I feel like this is just the utmost tedious and repetitive craft so maybe I just shouldn't <laughs> Look who I found, the man himself. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to have to get that. <laughs> How hilarious is that? Now that's kitschy Christmas. <laughs> oh, so fun. So fun. Oh, I love that. Yes. Come through, Rudolph. <laughs> Why is that so creepy? Why is the Snoopy one all creepy? I don't know. But yeah, they had a lot of great Christmas albums. I just, I love the artwork. I thought that was kind of neat too. That's kind of different. Okay, y'all, we did so good in there. Oh my gosh. So just super excited about everything I found today. Um, I didn't need to do a lot of holiday shopping this year because I did a ton last year. So this year is really going to be about deciding what I really want to decorate and how I want to decorate. So next, you're going to see me in the hall, show you all the items, and I'm going to show you how I decorate with them. All right, here we are. So let's get into the hall, shall we? Now, let's check out the items I got from the first stop. So one small item I am super excited for is this big old vintage ornament. Um, it was only... 99 cents 
And I'm really excited because I actually broke a vintage ornament on uh, a wreath I had made last year. And I needed like a blue colored bulb to fill that spot, a large one. And this was perfect. So I just felt it was kind of serendipity that I found this. Now this channel absolutely has a ton of vintage. I love vintage, as you can see, but I'm not a purist in any way. And I thought these Santa mugs were absolutely adorable. Aren't they so cute? They have kind of vintage vibes and that light aqua color and the red, are it's just a very vintage color combination. And these were only 99 cents. And y'all, I'm kind of picky when it comes to mugs and these are just like nice and big. And I was just, these were good. These were good ones. So I really love these. Lily, do you need in the video? Yeah? Hi, how are you today? Are you saying hi to everybody in video land? Hmm? Turn around so they can see your cute face. There you go. <laughs> There they go. Did you get down? Hmm? All right, there you go, sweetie. <laughs> Wouldn't be one of my videos without a cat in it. I did snag two pieces of jewelry. I grabbed this uh, Christmas tree brooch for $2.99. Um, I don't think it's that old but I, it has like a good mid-century look. And then I grabbed this really gaudy Christmas tree necklace. Um, I thought it was epic. Um, this could be 70s, I don't know. I It might not even be anywhere near that old, but I just thought it was kind of fun. So I will definitely wear this during a Christmas event of some kind. Now I picked up those beautiful candles. Yeah, I just, they have such a great mid-century feel and kind of look, that like modern mid-century look. I have no idea if they're old or not. Um, it says Barrick Design Inc., handmade in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. But, oh, don't they just, they just look really striking. So um, I paid $2.99 a piece for that. So I think that's really high for a candle, actually. So you know how much I like these. I picked up these little holly and berry salt and pepper shakers. They're in fairly good shape. I'm pretty sure they are left in. I have a bunch of uh, little left in cups and a creamer and a sugar. And what I plan to do is just sell it all as a cute little set. Um, I think somebody will love it. Um, and I think it is just kind of fun to curate things together. And since I know these match, I picked them up. They were only 99 cents. So I thought that was a good deal. And one of the first things I grabbed on camera were these cute little salt and peppers. I do not think these are that old. They were 99 cents. They're just cute. They had a little kitschy, vintagey kind of vibe. I'm guessing they're from the 80s or 90s, but super duper cute for a dollar. And then I snagged an item that I'm pretty sure wasn't on camera. Um, I actually saw someone looking at it and I was like, please don't buy it. Please don't buy it. Please don't buy it. And like the moment she walked away, I like snatched it up. Um, it is what I believe to be a Victorian jewelry box. It really reads Victorian to me. Um, it could not be, it could be a reproduction. I'm not super good at knowing, but to me, this really reads as an 1800s jewelry box. So great, great find. This one is absolutely staying in my collection. And y'all, who could forget that fireplace? I am just dumbfounded. Like I really, truly, absolutely believe people didn't see it was there because it was set up kind of as a display with products on it. I really think people kind of just didn't notice it. Um, I'm really happy I noticed it. Honestly, I felt I paid up for that. I felt I paid quite a bit, but this is the first time I've ever even had the opportunity to buy that item. I've seen those adorable uh, cardboard fireplaces. I always thought they'd be cute to own. And this was my opportunity, so I snatched it. The first item at the second store was a big one. It was this Mickey's marching band. Now, I have no idea if this works, okay? Um, I paid $9.99 for it. 
Um, I looked it up online. It looks like it sells really well. Um, I'll put up comps so you can check that out. But really, I just need to see if this works. Um, yeah, and you know, the box has damage. That, that changes price too. Um, and you know, also, I used to work for Disney in marketing. I love Disney. So who knows? I might just fall in love with this and have to hold on to it. But the plan right now is to sell it on eBay. Super excited to find this guy. Not only do I collect these paper mache banks, but I collect Santa banks. This is both paper mache and Santa bank. Yes. So awesome find. He was $3.99. He is in great shape. He's a little bit taller than my other Santa banks. So I'll need to see if he's going to fit on the shelf or not. I'm not sure, but we'll find a spot for him. Um, he does have a little Japan sticker on the bottom and his cork still. Um, I thought this was an exceptional find. Just finding him alone was reason to go to the second stop. I also have a collection of angels in my decor. And so I picked up this little girl. Again, kind of that 60s style. I love her so much. And she's holding a cardinal. Um, I do Redbird vintage unboxing. So I thought that was super adorable that this is vintage holding a Redbird. So super duper cute. Um, I paid $2.90 for this. I think this is just in great shape and I'm excited to add it to the Christmas decor. So I don't think you saw me grab this one on camera. This is a little Christmas tree. I paid $1.99 for it. Little ceramic Christmas tree with little gems, but it's a lighter, y'all. Isn't that neat? I have no idea what this is worth, but my gut just said, pick it up. That's hella cool. I also picked up these three little home co mice. Now, whenever you see these little home co figurines, just know that they do come in threes. Um, they were only 99 cents a piece. And so I just thought that was a great deal to get all three for $3. Um, I've seen these priced as high as like $5.99 for one. So um, these are in excellent condition. So I, I think I can sell all three of them and make a pretty decent profit. So um, I just have a thing for the mouse, with like the little mouse with the big ears, the mice. I just, I love them. I think they're so dang cute. I don't know why, but I have a thing for them. So um, yeah, I thought that was a great deal. And then last but not least, I picked up some vintage records. Now I have a huge collection of vintage records. I don't actually have a record player. I know I'm a total poser, but I love the artwork and someday I wanna have a player I'm sure Katie from Vintage and Vinyl can help me out <laughs> on what player I should get when I do make the jump. But I just thought this one was so adorable. Like how, I don't know. This just like screams to me, stereotypical, like cheesecake Christmas vintage. So I thought that was great. Thought this was so cute. Um, here's the, the other side. It's just gonna look really good on display. And then I did pick this up for a certain someone, just saying. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how I styled these items that I'm keeping in my home. First up, we got the cute Santa mugs. Aren't they so cute? Ugh, I think they look adorable. Um, I do have the ornament here for now. Um, it will go in the wreath, but I'm just, I'm not there yet, so. Next, in my bathroom, I use the records because that says kitchmas to me. <laughs> and then over on this side, I have this little cake stand used for a display. And we got that Rudolph record. And appropriate for a bathroom, I used part of a toilet paper roll to make that stand up. <laughs> I think it looks super cute with my other thrifted items. And Santa is just here jamming with all his Santa homies. Ugh, he looks great. I love him. He makes me super duper happy. And there are those little guys. Remember them from the beginning of the video? They're hanging out with all their snow buddies. And... There's a little bit of Christmas going on here. This is my bedroom on the dresser, and that is the Victorian jewelry box. 
Um, that'll be there forever. But you know what? There's a pink Christmas tree. There's some um, 1950s sketches. There's some holiday there. And of course, this. Oh my God, y'all. Ugh, I love this so much. Ugh, this fireplace. Amazing, right? And how cute the angels, the candles. Oh, and I love the countdown calendar and the little mice. And y'all, it works. It works fantastically. And it is so fun to watch. It is like my favorite holiday decoration I have ever owned. And of course, I am keeping it. I, I cannot get rid of that. My Disney loving heart loves it so very, very much. And that is it, y'all. That is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it has you dreaming of a vintage Christmas, because I know I am. Um, please, please, please check out the playlist. I will link it right here. It'll also be linked below. Um, and see all the other great videos by all the other creators. There is some fabulous stuff in there. I hope it is everything you need to get inspired and to be dreaming of a vintage Christmas. So that is it, y'all. Stay creative, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! Thank you.